Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share the recipe of Meen Pullu Chadu. This is a famous dish from Kerala. Fish is coated with masalas and wrapped in banana leaves and cooked. Without further delay, let's get started. We have taken three surgeon fish here. You can use palm fret or curry meen which is also called pearl spot fish. We have taken 500 grams of fish. Firstly, I'm going to fry the fish pieces. For that, take 1 tablespoon of Kashmiri chilli powder, 2 teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of pepper powder, salt as needed, few curry leaves, 1 teaspoon of coconut oil, and water as needed to make the masala paste. Mix all the masala powders nicely. We are going to fry the whole fish. To the clean fish, apply the masalas nicely like this. We have drawn gashes on top of fish so that the masalas gets into the fish. Karimin and pomfret taste equally good. Marinate the fish pieces for 15 minutes. Now I am going to fry the fish pieces. For that, heat sunflower oil or coconut oil in a tawa. Add in the marinated fish pieces. Cook the fish pieces to 80 percentage because we will be cooking these fish pieces again by wrapping it in banana leaf. So make sure not to overcook the fish. Flip the fishes gently without breaking it and that's so important. The fish fry is ready now. Next I am going to prepare a masala to coat these fishes. For that heat 1 tablespoon of coconut oil and add in 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Add in few curry leaves. In goes 1.5 cups of finely chopped shallots. I have used chopper to chop the shallots finely. I am adding in little more coconut oil and salt as needed. Now add in 2 slitted green chillies. Sort the onions until it turns translucent. Add in 2 finely chopped tomatoes. Cover it with the lid and cook well. Open the lid and give it a stir in the middle so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Add in 2 teaspoon of Kashmiri chilli powder, 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder and quarter teaspoon of pepper powder. Sort it nicely until the raw smell of the masala powders goes off. I am adding in 1 tablespoon of thick coconut milk so that the masalas doesn't burn. Cover it with the lid and cook in medium flame. Add in salt as needed. Once the shallots and the tomatoes are cooked well, add in half a cup of thick coconut milk. The shallots and the tomatoes has to be chopped finely. The shallot masala is ready and switch off the flame. This should be the consistency of the masala. The fish fry and the masala are ready now. It's time to pack the fish pieces in the banana leaf. Show the banana leaf into the flame for few seconds so that it turns soft and doesn't tear while folding. Take 2-3 to three tablespoons of masalas depending on the size of the fish. Spread it evenly like this and place the fried fish on top of that. Now cover the fish pieces with the little masalas evenly like this. Add in few curry leaves. My amma is only helping me in packing the fish pieces. Wrap the banana leaves like this. Tie it tightly with the thread. The fishes are packed perfectly in the banana leaf. Heat some coconut oil in a tawa. Place the banana leaf parcel and fry it on both the sides. Cover it with the lid and fry it. The fish fry and the masalas are almost cooked well so it doesn't take much time. Flip it and cook it on both the sides. Mean polichadze tastes best with rice and rasam or samba rice. The banana leaf gives nice flavor to the mean polichadze. Mean polichadze is ready to be served now. Do try this recipe at least once and share me the feedback. I'll unwrap the banana leaves and show how beautiful it has turned out. Fish is packed well with the masalas. Subscribe my channel for more interesting recipes. The fish is cooked perfectly and tastes delicious. I'll see you next video. Until then, bye bye and take care.